That is why you need to unplug from the matrix because the matrix hijacks your mind. You know, when things go wrong in your life, people sometimes say, you're gonna look back, it'll be the biggest blessing you've ever had. You just don't see it now. Well, that's how I feel about everything we're going through right now. And when people are really feeling horrible, and I, someone says something like, I'm saying, you just wanna punch them in the face, you know? You're just like, shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> Some people would say, well, that's an inappropriate and mean way to feel, so I'm not gonna feel that way. So I'm talking about suppressing your emotions. Someone having that reaction where you spit that back in their face when they're trying to be nice or kind or offer you a different way. That would not, that's not kind, that's not nice, not a really cool way to be. But to have that natural defensive reflex is okay, you know? It would be better for you to not even feel that anger and agitation, right? Just because, you, you know, staying calmer and not having little surges of anger is better for you. But to have them is normal and to deny them is not healthy and it's not normal. These are the kind of programming things that society gives you that hurt, that hurt you. You know, instead of teaching you, you know, how you feel is fine. It's fine. It's not the ideal way to be because it makes you not feel good, you know? No one ever teaches you just a really healthy way of dealing with your emotions, you know? A really, really healthy way of dealing with your emotions. A healthy way to let you develop and follow your passions and find a future that's based around your passions rather than one that's based out of fear and expectations. You know, expectations is programming and you have to do this, you have to do that, and, this. and people follow it because they don't think there's any other option. There's another way. I would like to rebuild this country with people following their passion. Can you imagine what that would be like? Can you imagine if you woke up every day and you were living in a place that brought you joy and you, you're going to a job that brought you joy and you're expressing your creativity and you were surrounded by people that really appreciated you. This sounds like a fantasy, right? It's not a fantasy, guys. It's I'm pretty sure that's how we're supposed to be living. The entire energy on the planet would shift like overnight. Here's the thing. It doesn't require a huge education, a lot of money, it doesn't require any of that. Finding that spark and that passion, that's free. Getting started on creating a life with that passion and spark, it's free. Because it's all in your mind. It's all a mindset. That's where it starts. Everything starts and everything ends in your mind.